Welcome back guys, we are continuing this. Uh, I always forget what the damn game's called. Great War, Western Front, Elite Difficulty, Allied Campaign. And I've had a little think and I've come up with a plan and a little bit of cheese as well to mix in. <laughs> so basically, I need to stage an attack to prevent them from getting stars back. Now, what I'm thinking is, if I stage an attack with a single troop and don't actually attack them, just sit in my trenches and defend, then it'll prevent them from getting the stars, it won't lose me any gold, and it'll only cost me 100 supply to actually stage the attack, and it'll prevent them from getting the star back. So, on the turns that I'm not attacking with huge stacks, I can still prevent them from getting the stars back without costing any gold. So that's the cheese. And the other thing is, rather than having all of my French down here and splitting my stacks of French and British, I think what I might do is bring the French doom stack up here to help out and concentrate all my forces on a single tile. So, we're going to test this theory, see if it works. So I'm going to move all of these over to here. Then, I'm going to move all of this French stack apart from two. Let's have a quick look at see what the difference is here. Right, so the elite company don't get standard as well as elite. They just get elite. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. So let's bring all these up here. Did that move the planes? No. Let's get the planes up. Now, also as well, I'm thinking of combining... Maybe I should separate... What have we got? Four, five, six, seven, eight. And what have we got here? Eleven, twelve, thirteen... Yeah, maybe separating them in two is not a good idea. But then again, if we bring a load of planes with us, that'll help with the supply. So maybe separating them in two is a good idea. Have two semi-doom stacks for each nation. Then that's four large attacks I can stage. So, I'm going to concentrate all of my planes That's the plan, anyway Oh, did I click on the wrong tile? Okay <laughs> So I think I am going to go into gold, but maybe not quite next. I might go into this infantry health and rifle damage first. Then I'll go into the gold. So we're going to test out this theory now. Just attack with a single unit. We have new orders. And not actually advance so I'm not going to make you sit through this this is just a test for myself <laughs> if uh, if the action gets interesting if they go on a full on counter offensive then I'll uh, I'll record <laughs> well they didn't attack so I ended up just calling a ceasefire after 10 minutes so basically doing this has cost me five national will and has give them one so it is costly doing this cheese 
But if it helps to take a territory, then it's going to be worth the trade. Wish I knew what these things meant. <laughs> That's the supply icon. Is it actually adding? Like, is that adding 200 supply? So, I had 100... Uh, sorry, I spent 100 to stage the fight. Is that saying that I'm gaining 200, so I get a net gain of 100? If so, trading out 5 national will to get an extra 100, and then whatever these are, is, <laughs> might not be that bad of an idea. Especially with preventing them from getting a star back. So hopefully it does prevent them from getting a star back even though no shots were fired. These are important things to find out. <laughs> Interesting. Why did I gain national will for that? I have no idea. Maybe that's what them other stats were them other pluses. Right, I'm going to have to check to see the net gain or loss of the supply as well. So maybe that, that, is, uh, that is good, doing that. I'm only going to find out if I end the turn now, so I think I'll just end the turn and see if this star gets replaced or not. Right, looks like we're getting attacked. So, let's see how we get on. So, I'm obviously just going to be sitting back and defending with a single core. Or is that two cores? That looks like it's two cores, actually. So, I think I might do what I did last time and just defend the command center with all of my troops. So it means that I'm not going to get a victory doing that. But it'll almost certainly guarantee that I don't get a loss either. Maybe because this is the first time that I'm actually fighting with two cores on defense. I might actually try and defend properly and then if I lose it, I lose it. Right, well this is an incredibly wide map, so my firepower is going to be spread incredibly thin. So I think maybe just defending the command trench is probably a better idea. Otherwise they'll just roll over me. And I'm not going to be able to recover. Now there's no point in using any machine gun nests. Because the enemy artillery will just wipe them out in seconds. And it'll just grant them victory points. And cost me money. Or supply or whatever. So I think I am just going to use infantry only. And just surround the command trench see how we get on so i'll set that up back in a second okay we've set up our turtle defense El Tortuga. and let's see what happens
Défendez cette position Just realized I had the recording paused. <laughs> so, basically, I managed to hold the defense. They called a ceasefire. It cost us eight national will, but it cost them a thousand more gold than me. Now, if I had planes, harassment planes might have been really useful there. So maybe one plane on each of these territories is a good idea, but I'm going to need a lot of gold before I can actually set that up. So what I've done is I've created the two French doom stacks here and the two British doom stacks here. And I've compiled all the planes into the two doom stacks as well. So we've got four doom stacks ready to take on each objective. So that is what we're going to try and do. Now I'm saving this point here to go into infantry rifle damage. And then I'll move into the logistics and get the gold. And then I'm going to carry on in the logistics and get the volunteers. Okay. So these have moved, so they can't attack on this turn. They've moved, they can't attack on this turn. I think they have, yeah. So I've got Ypres and Arras. If I want to attack. I think I might. Yeah, let's give it a go. So the one problem with creating Doomstacks is the enemy defend with Doomstacks. So it might not be a great idea, but it's worth a try. So let's attack with Arras into Hasbrook. I've just thought of another really cheesy way to attack. If I attack but don't actually attack and then call a ceasefire, I think that'll still drain their morale and it won't cost anything. And it actually gives us resources and national will. <laughs> so that's a good way to drain the national, uh, sorry, drain the fatigue without actually receiving any damage pretty cheesy but on elite difficulty I think I'm going to require all the cheese I can muster <laughs> alright I'm going to set this up I'll be with you in a second well this looks like an insanely difficult map it's incredibly wide so just putting a single troop across the whole front line is consumed basically nearly all of my uh, command pop or pop cap sorry so I've only actually got four units that I'm going to be attacking with or eight units sorry four pairs and not only that but the distance between no man's land and the enemy control points is really far so I've had to put this obs balloon in danger just to be able to see towards the control point. So yeah, this is not a nice map to attack at all. Right, well, let's see how we get on. So I am going to just 
spend a lot of points on planes. Hmm. There are no MG nests here. That caught me off guard a bit. Let's bring a bomber out here. Probably going to require two, actually. And then, what am I going to do here? So one artillery should pin all three of them down. One should pin them three down. Another one should pin them down. So that's three artillery. So one pair is going to come across here and get in there. In fact, another pair is going to come across here and get in there. One pair in there and one pair in here, I reckon. So... Let's do that. Attention. Bring this pair over here. Position est à nous. Now they're probably just going to fire artillery at me. I couldn't even see that because of my OBS balloon was hiding it. <laughs> Very sneaky. So let's just halt with these. Let's get moving. On a de nouveaux ordres. Le commandement veut cette position. Right, I think I'm going to have to fire the first équipe prête. Ordre de tir de barrage. Feu. I'm going to fire the second barrage now. And the third. I think I might just get this one primed and ready. Ah. Knew that was coming. That's cut them off, unfortunately. Made it awkward for these. Yeah, that was quite quite a nasty artillery placement there. So let's get this one firing here again. Damn it. That's bad news. That's going to cause incredible casualties. Right, let's just retreat with these. Get these moving this way. So I'm going to need... Right, let's just see what happens here. Okay, so we're going to fire another one here, get another one in here, ok, 
gonna get these up here. Attendez les ordres, en marche. Tenez-vous prêt, on avance, on y va. Attention, préparez-vous à tirer. On a de nouveaux ordres, mettez-vous en position. Préparez-vous à recevoir les ordres de donner. Damn it. I forgot to suppress this guy. Attendez les ordres sur la ligne. Tenez-vous prêts. En position de tir. Right. Let's get another one in here. Okay, well, we're in. That's nasty. Okay, let's fire, oh we don't need to, let's get these two across here. So we are running low on health on everybody. Close, but I think we're going to take the objective. On capitule. Tenez-vous prêt. Cette position est à nous. Attention. Préparez-vous à tirer. On a de nouveaux ordres. Okay, so we'll be able to reinforce over here soon. So what is our next plan? Obviously, if we come in from the side, we'll have a lot of protection. Chargez l'artillerie, chargez les obus légers. So I can get one artillery here, one here. So one two, three, four, so I reckon it's going to require four artillery there.
Right. I think I might bring one of these up to defend here. Then the rest of these are going to move out here. Damn it. Attention. Well, he didn't sustain too much damage. That's a little bit of a problem. So, if we... If we do that... Bring in harassment mission. And then tell these to attack. wonder if that's going to work. If it doesn't work, I'm going to leave one of these behind. Just to make sure. Okay, that worked quite well. Now I wonder how many more of them types of pushes they're going to pull off. I mean, I don't want to dilly, dilly dally, because I am going to run out of time if I do. So, I'm going to keep moving. Le commandement veut cette position. Okay. Let's get another harassment plane in. Let's get a bombing run in. Means we'll keep bringing these harassment missions in. Well, it's working. Don't know how many more I'm going to need. So to have a lot of troops. Chargez pour le pionnier cette position. 
Yeah, apparently that machine gun it can shoot me. Come on. So let's get in the trench here. Okay, so we're running out of supply, but we've inflicted massive losses on them. Yeah, I think that worked quite well. Right. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's have a look, see what's going on down here. So, these two are pointing this way. This one's pointing this way. I've got eight minutes left. I think we might do this. So, let's bring... These two up here. Probably going to get shot with artillery, so I should really keep an eye on him. Yep, what a surprise. Well, that was fun. I enjoyed that. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I don't think they've really got anything left, so I may as well bring some more of these out. Let's leave the trench here. Attendez 
Well, we're gradually taking them down. We got the objective. I wonder if they purposely put the enemy units down that you need to re um, get the objective, because it seemed convenient that they had the perfect amount of artillery for me to complete the objective. So we may as well retreat with both of these. Yeah, I think we'll be able to just stroll across and take these out now. They might have a few men defending at the back, I'm not sure. It shouldn't be too difficult. Let's start moving. Well, it doesn't look like they've got anyone here. Them two in there. Them two in there. These two in here. These two can go and deal with that. So they have got one that can fire in this direction. Have we got an artillery that can reach? No. That's a bit annoying. Sorted. Very nice. And I believe this is going to be our first great victory of the war. <laughs> and it was a fun one at that. Very nice. Oh, I'm happy about that. Feels good. Right, apparently we got 225 supply, 6 national will, or resolve, whatever it's called, will, and 400 gold for that. Don't know how we didn't get battlefield domination. <laughs> if that's not a domination, I don't know what is. 2,800 versus 12,300 plus a great victory. I wonder what you require for battlefield domination then. <laughs> oh dear. That is definitely a total victory. Wow, I enjoyed that immensely. Ah, oh, that was supply, was it, for that? That'll do. Right then, so... Hasbrook's down to one star now, so there's a chance I might be able to finish it off with the troops in Ypres. If not, 
we should be able to do it on the next turn. And then after that, we can decide what we want to do. So yeah, I think we'll call it a day for this episode. So cheers for watching. Take care. I'll see you soon.